hello all in the last tutorial what we have discussed is uh, we have discussed how to create a simple application with the help of spring boot in this uh, video we are going to see how to create an archive file from the whole application and deploy it into the application server so we have uh, created uh, the application to display the hello world and the mapping uh, it will be the path will be the slash hello slash world and uh, we can run with the help of this option run demo application and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a package or the archive file out of this whole project and we are going to deploy this in an application server we are going to use so the step is like we have to use the maven application so you have to click on the terminal and the command is maven command mvn followed by clean followed by package so what it will do is it will uh, create a web archive file out of this whole uh, java class file etc and uh, it will give a work war file for us you can see it takes plenty of step it is archiving the whole jar file into a single file called uh, war file and uh, you can see the packing web app uh, processing war file and so many things and at last you can see build success and the total time is 24 second and uh, so to see that uh, so in your project thing you can see something called as target and in the target you can see the test classes and you can see two things one is demo underscore 0.0.1 snapshot dot war and dot war dot original and this generated with the help of this form dot xml you can see if you change something here it will reflect here and uh, war file will be there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in the desktop for my thing and I'm going to rename it for example I'm going to create a, a app from this so the file is app.war and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, out of this whole file uh, out of this whole file I am getting this war, war file and I am going to deploy this war file in um, application server and for this application server I am going to use the tomcat and uh, it's, it is uh, available in this URL and I am going to download some um, tomcat version and if I click here click this my tomcat file uh, will be downloaded so i have already downloaded in the folder i have already downloaded in the folder yeah so it is here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install this so click on yes next agree then uh, you have to select the host manager because to deploy this war file we have we need this host manager click on next and uh, I'm going to set the username as admin and the password is admin so you can do it uh, we can change any password here then click on next so by default this application server requires JDK 8 then uh, this will install in uh, C program files Apache software foundation Tomcat 8.5 then click on install so this application server will get installed and I'm going to deploy the war file in which we have generated so I'm going to run this Apache Tomcat click on finish so let me stop the server here and I think it's uh, already stopped so I'm going to open this Tomcat server localhost colon 8080 and you can see the welcome page of this and I'm going to click on host manager it will ask for the username and the password so the username is admin and the password is admin so I'm going to host 
this thing so for that uh, you can click on the server status and uh, you can see list of applications so I'm going to deploy the war file here so there is an option called war file to deploy click on choose file and in the desktop you can see something called as app.war click on app.war then click on deploy so you can see it will get deployed take some time yeah it's deployed now you can see uh, this application is deployed now click on app and you can see the white label page because we have to give the path the path is hello slash bird when you press enter you'll get the result so what I have done is uh, we have created the package or we have created the archive file with the help of spring boot and uh, with the help of this archive file I have deployed this archive file here and um, uh, you can explore uh, the content so I'm going to open that C program files then Apache software foundation Tomcat 8.5 then web apps you can see the app.war which is deployed one and this is the deployed area you can see org spring framework boot loader so all the loader kind of things will be there and uh, the web inf uh, folder will be there the classes generated classes will be there and you can see the hello.class everything it will be there and so many stuffs or uh, the maven stuff will be there so so this is how uh, uh, the program works so they will develop for uh, this with the help of this intel j ide with the help of spring boot framework and uh, they will convert everything into a war file and this war file can be deployed in any application server and this performs the cross platform dependency and uh, cross platform application kind of thing and similarly we can uh, develop a jar file and uh, if you change here this war to jar uh, we can change it so this is how it works and uh, in this video we have studied how to convert the whole bunch of project into a war file and how we deploy this war file into the application server like uh, apache tomcat and so many things are there and um, so in the next tutorial we will learn how to uh, generate a jar file from this thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel